Hello, welcome to Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, Phil Foster. Well, Friday's upon us again, and as I do each uh, Friday, I want to take a minute to remind you to get out to church somewhere. You know, in Deuteronomy uh, chapter 30, verse 6, the Bible talks about cleansing our hearts and the hearts of our children. And a great idea emerges from that verse in the Bible that we want to pass on a heart for God. And uh, the way that we pass on a heart for God is to model that behavior so that our, our kids and our grandkids and so forth can see that modeled in our life. One thing you want to do is be a compassionate person. Jesus uh, was moved with compassion. He uh, saw people who were hungry. He saw people who were sick. He saw people who were, as he said, without a shepherd, and he took time to invest in their lives. He did practical things. When he saw the multitudes who were hungry, he did the miracle of the loaves and the fishes. When he uh, saw people without a shepherd, he sent the disciples in to, to love on them and to care for them. See, we want to be compassionate people. Don't just always walk by every need that you see around you. Take time and get involved in somebody's life. Then you also want to have a forgiving heart. Don't hold on to grudges. Don't let people hurt you twice. Doesn't mean there's not consequences for actions, but what it does mean is that we release thanks to God, and God is able to take care of His business, believe me, because it's so true, people always reap what they sow. So don't allow bitterness and unforgiveness to sidetrack you. And then another thing you want to pass on, not only is to be compassionate and be forgiving, but you want to be a listener. God gave you two ears and one mouth, so listen twice as much as you talk. Listen to what people have to say, and I believe God will help you make a difference in people's lives. Look, I'm all out of time, so make sure you get out to church Sunday till we get together on Monday. May God bless you, and hey, have a great day.